Um, Alison and I um, were <coughs> really privileged to go for, uh, to South India on a trip with Take Me to the World with, with Nats and we had the most wonderful time and um, there are several things that I really, we really enjoyed going to South India with Nats. Um, the personal attention we, we greatly appreciated. So starting off, when we, right back to when we planned our itinerary, we sat down and worked out where we wanted to go, what things we were interested in, so that there was attention given to taking us to cultural things like concerts and dance and art, and there were other things that we didn't want to, to do, so that was all tailor-made. Yes, and um, <clears throat> one of the things I admire about Nats is his attention to detail. He, he listens to what uh, what people want. And uh, for to give you an example, uh, we like to stay in boutique hotels. And um, we went to a place in Kochi and Kariapati. And uh, he had all planned for us the, these, this wonderful accommodation that um, matched exactly what we were looking for in travelling around India. And he even so. got me samosas to have with my drinks, because <laughs> I like samosas. Yeah. So, um, and it was a great cultural experience as well. Um, with, the, with that personal attention, uh, Nats were, took us to places that tourists would not normally go to, which uh, was wonderful for us. Uh, we, he took us to once and to a, a lovely restaurant, lunchtime place, and uh, I don't suppose they'd seen a, a European ever. And we went and they had this superb lunch, and the food just kept coming and coming, and, and it was absolutely delightful. So that personal touch, tailored for what we wanted, and getting in touch with the local people, um, we, we very much appreciated and it, it made the trip for us. Yes, I think it was that blend. We saw all the big sites like the um, rock carvings at Mahabalapuram. <laughs> Mahabalapuram, <laughs> yes. And all of those sorts of things and the beautiful and and all those. temples and shrines, but also, you know, went to, as I say, dance performances and things of that ilk. But on the flip side, being able to go and walk through tiny villages and drive through little rural areas and see people on their little tiny boats fishing with crocodiles right next door, but nobody was bothering the other. Seeing the kids go off to school and come home, it was that, that mixture so that you felt you were really seeing life as the locals lived it. Yes, if there's a word that um, comes to mind with Nat's tour, uh, authentic. Mm. It's authentic. It's uh, it's the real India uh, on our trip. Uh, 